Happy Monday, all. Uh, President's Day. It's me. I'm back. Just kidding. I thought that was a joke from the last one, so I did it again. Anyways, uh, not a lot to talk about. You know, we could discuss men's and women's basketball. And, you know, I wrote a little bit about my feelings there from this weekend, just kind of wondering what the future is for both programs, not calling out anybody to be fired or let go or, or anything like that, just kind of wondering you know, the next uh, three, four or five weeks, whatever, once the season's done, what that looks like. I mean, does, is Oregon in the market for a men's and women's basketball coach? You know, maybe Altman at age 65 decides to hang it up. He's had an amazing, you know, 30 year plus career, you know, Kelly Graves, obvious struggles there. And you just kind of wonder um, what the future looks like. So um, I'm not picking on anybody. Uh, I like both those guys and they've done uh, uh, some great things for, for Oregon. So I don't think fans should be salty or mad, but I mean, at the end of the day, we're all judged and based off the job we do. I am, you know, on Scoop Duck. If I'm if I'm doing a good job, you guys are paying to read. If I'm not, you're not. Um, some of you are in sales, maybe real estate, car sales, insurance sales. You know, our performance is, you know, our 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 jobs is as a performance based, you know, jobs, and every coach knows that. So, anyways, uh, we'll see what the next couple of weeks look like. First question that I took from Scoop Duck. Uh, the pickleball paddle I use, I won't hang on this long. I also use a carbon paddle. I think that's been the last two or three paddles that I've used. Uh, just really enjoy, you know, the fact that it has good power, good touch, uh, comfortable in my hand. Honestly, I've only played probably three or four times in the last three or four months, which I don't like, but the weather hasn't been helping with that. We don't have a lot of indoor courts down here in Medford, so haven't played as much as I've wanted to. Usually I play with my buddies that are all, you know, probably around 4.25, maybe 4.5. Uh, but one of my best friends I went to high school with, he's he's a he's a five a five zero plus player. He's really good. Obviously, just doesn't miss many shots. Has good power, great touch. He's not just a banger. So, anyways, that's enough about pickleball. That's when I play. If you ever come down, hit me up. Let's go play. Uh, portal opening. Okay, that was the next question that I saw. Uh, it's in April. the 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 portal window will open in April. My expectation for Oregon is this. They will see more players go in than players go into the portal, leaving Oregon, than coming in. You know, there's just not much room. There's not much need, you know. Uh, so, of course, there might be guys that jump in and Dan Lanning says, hey, that's a guy we got to move on. We don't know until that time comes. You know, there's just, like I said, not a lot of meat on the bone. You know, obviously, Keon Sab is in the portal. Uh, I could talk about him now. That's one of the future questions coming up. I think Bama still leads. I think Oregon's number two. I have no idea how close it is. It might not be all that close. I think he's Bama's to lose at the moment. Doesn't mean he's going there. Doesn't mean he's signed, but that's where I, I see it at. I think Oregon is the number two team, but again, that separation might be um, more than Oregon can make up. So right now we're talking about Keon Sab. That's the guy I could see Oregon get. He jumped in now. Um, doesn't mean he can enroll at Oregon. I could see them adding him as a safety, but they don't necessarily have to go get another safety. I could see an interior defensive lineman being probably the only priority for Oregon and maybe a position where they take a guy that's not a superstar, if you will. So that's the only position I can really see that happening. Otherwise, if Oregon does take anybody, they're more than likely a superstar or somebody they think will, they think will be a superstar. Next question. Uh, Oregon basketball make the NCAA tourney. I assume that meant men's because we're not really putting the women's in that category this year. So as far as that goes, I want them to. I've actually enjoyed watching this team more than I did last year's team. I think Dana Altman probably enjoys this team more than he did last year's team, but injuries have been tough. You know, the league is pretty good this year. Uh, it's not a bad league by any means. Oregon's in third place. They're in, they're in a good spot, probably almost exactly where you'd expect them to be. So it's not a disappointment, but it hasn't been better than expected. So, yeah, I'm going to say they make the tourney. I'm going to say that they band together and these next three weeks and they make a run in the tournament like Dana Altman always does, and they make the tournament. So prove me right, guys. I hope you do. Uh, team activities, basically, you know, now you're you're seeing them do voluntary workouts it's all voluntary. Anyways, there's strength and conditioning, lots of speed training. Uh, and then you see them doing, you know, basically lots of seven on seven and individual skill stuff. So mostly like you would see them do at the beginning of like a regular spring or fall practice. They're just doing more of that for an extended period, if you will. So that's 
uh, kind of what go, is going on. And I believe that we are expected to see them start uh, spring football in early March. And they will have uh, a handful of practices, then break for spring break, like they've done the last couple of years, and then come back and resume after spring break. So that's the, the current plan. Uh, anyways, apart from the paycheck, which could always be bigger. Oh, tell your friends, bring them over. Anyways, apart from the paycheck, what's the motivation for doing Scoop Duck, doing what I do? Um, I think the second, my second, maybe a tie, my second favorite thing about this job is the interaction with people um, when it's positive. The interaction, you know, meeting people, you know, for a beer when I, I'm out of town or the people that I've met and, and continuing to grow those relationships and getting to know them. That's been my favorite part. And I know that there's a lot of people that I've communicated with either direct message, private message, text message, whatever that I've never met, but I feel like I've, I've known for a while. Um, and I really enjoy that part of this job. I enjoy, you know, talking about college football. I enjoy, you know, working around recruiting. I enjoy those things. Obviously I'm blessed to have a job that does this. I know most of you would love to have a job like this and that's not forgotten on me. Um, at all, but I would say I love, you know, it, it is a competition. If I'm not doing good at it, you guys aren't signing up. And and I do crave that competition as well. So that's probably third. Yeah, I got to earn a paycheck. I got to I got to get my kids to college and get them cleats and get them dancing shoes and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, this my second favorite thing probably easily is getting to know people through this website and just off the website. Last question that I had written down, I talked about it. It was Keon Sab. Again, I kind of think he's Bama's to lose at this point. I think they're making a huge play there. And I think the motivation for that is obviously losing Caleb Downs, among other players. They have a massive need back there. So that's uh, that's what I think. That's it for the Scoop Duck Daily, which is seven minutes. I got to get these closer to five, but I love the questions and I love talking to you guys. So please make sure you subscribe, share, tune in, and uh, appreciate it all. Yeah. Have a good week.